Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to add some color to your inking illustration. Now, in the last video, we removed our little uh, cuts, our extra points, and we just want to double check and make sure we got them all. Uh, right here, I see one that when I click on it, it's not quite cut all the way through because I didn't quite overlap. For those types of situations, you just want to go to your eraser tool and gently erase that. Okay, that'll do the job. So, anyway, go through and check out all your different parts to make sure that you have erased them completely. And uh, let's see. So, um, I don't know if you notice, I am incrementally saving these. I'm changing my save name as I move. And the next step is basically to create a live paint group. This time we're actually going to create it though. Let me. Um, go to my uh, black arrow tool and when I click onto that I'm going to see if I can select the whole thing here let's see here um, alright so I'm gonna select the entire object here and you can see that it is um, filled shapes it looks pretty good uh, and now I'm going to go up to object and add a live paint okay now when you make a live paint section what it's going to do is allow you to fill in areas with your live paint bucket it makes it pretty easy I'm going to click off of it and I want to make some extra colors right quick so to bring up my extra colors I'm just going to expand my window here and I'm going to switch over here with nothing selected to um, how about a dark blue here. It's not quite dark enough. Let's see, that's a good one. And once you change the color up here, sometimes you have to double click to get it to change, but I'm going to go ahead and add a swatch by clicking this new swatch icon. It's going to tell me what it's going to be. Um, in this case, I'm going to make it the uh, dark shadows in his face or maybe his hair do another blue and see how it didn't change up there it changed down here but it did not change up here I'm gonna try and double tap that to make it actually change and you notice it changed that time and I'll add that one and then I want to make uh, a light blue and we'll add that one and I'm just getting these colors ready for when we start to work so let's do that and uh, get even lighter let's see there we go I got a lighter blue and we'll add that one alright so now that I've added some colors to my palette that I'm going to use inside my character I can start filling in my character uh, let's start with this um, middle blue here kind of um, and we're going to see if we can find our um, tool here it's the live paint bucket shortcut key is K and it's under the shape builder option so if you um, switch over to that one you're ready to go and you can see that you're getting um, an easy way to fill in a region when you do that and basically I, that's what I want to do with his face uh, I wanted to do some darker blue in his hair so we'll do some darker blue in his hair let's see here and then a dark dark blue out here alright so you basically fill in regions uh, if you didn't connect something depending on your gap setting ob object live paint and uh, gap options um, the depending on what you put here and you should have done that in a previous video you'll be able to still fill in a section even though the gap is there it's like the paint doesn't flow out it's like I don't know, got a little force field on that gap so anyway uh, I'm gonna get some other colors for his eyebrows here let's see how about um, how about this purpley color for his eyebrows yeah there and there and then inside his eyes I want some white in the white part of his eye that's this little guy here let's see there and there and his teeth white and then um, let's see let's give him some yeah green eyes we'll go green eyes 
So we're going to get some green eyes here and here. And then on the inside of the pupil, we're going to go with black. And we'll fill that in and fill that in. So, um, oh, I need to do one more. I forgot, I got to get the other color of his goatee here. So let's get that in. All right. So, what you want to do is try and see if you can fill in all the sections with solid color. It doesn't really matter if they're exactly how you want them because we can adjust them later. But just try and get all the solid colors in in this video and then save it and we'll move on.